Praise the Lord. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, praise God. Welcome, everybody, and welcome. Good Sunday. Uh, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. And we want to welcome all of you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Beard. Amen? Yeah. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. Hallelujah. We want to welcome all those of you that are uh, watching my uh, video or listening by audio. So we want to welcome all of you that are joining us right now. Amen? Yeah. And uh, all we say is allow the Word of God to penetrate. But allow the Word of God to come yeah. in and bless you. Amen? We have a, a great topic today. We got a great message for you today. And uh, I just want to say do your part in receiving. Amen? Be yeah. open for God to use you. Amen? And we have a great, the Lord gave me a great message. Uh, we talk about this all the time, but uh, I don't think I ever spoke on this before. But uh, it's about being available for God. Amen. Uh -huh. Be available. <laughs> we just need to be available. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this beautiful day. And I want you to be open, to be, to be blessed, to be encouraged, to be changed, and to allow the word of God to correct us once in a while. Amen. Yeah. Oh, man, we got to correct our ways, you know, sometimes yes, when we're going yes. somewhere, you know, we take a detour, but guess what? We always come back. We need to come back. A lot of you have been lost, but it's time for you to come back. Amen. And a lot of you Amen. have been called, uh -huh. but you haven't been available. Oh, you right. need to correct that. You need to make yourself available. Amen. And we have lots and lots and lots of examples here. And uh, you just got to be obedient. Amen. Amen. Here's ways to be available. Hey, Amen. I just wrote a few. If you want to write them down, ways to be available. This is only a couple. This is only a few. Hey, Amen. But, well, before I get too into the word, let's uh, grab our Bibles uh -huh. and uh, be excited about Amen. the word of God. Hey, Amen. So, grab this your Bibles. My, this is my, this Bible. Is my Bible. Where's yours? I this am. is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. You know where you say my spirit is receptive? Your heart. You know when you talk about your heart is receptive to what God has for you. Amen. So your spirit, man, is open to what God has to say. Amen. And uh, be obedient. So ways to be available. We're going to be talking about be available for God. Amen. God has done his part. He sent Jesus. Jesus did his part. And he came and he was available. And he fulfilled what he was told to do. Yes. Now we need to be available. Yes. And we need to be there for him. Amen. Yes. Can he count on you? Yes. <laughs> we counted on him and we still count on him. Uh -huh. But can he count on you? Ways to be available. This is only a few. <laughs> be faithful. Oh, yeah. Be committed. Amen. Be surrendered total to Him. Amen. <laughs> be available. <laughs> be available. Uh, be teachable. Be obedient. And be humble. Amen. Amen. You know, God wants to use you. Can you repeat those, Pastor? Be faithful. Be faithful. Be available. Uh -huh. Be teachable. Be obedient. And be humble. There's more that we can add to it, you know. Be committed. Be surrendered. Amen. It's on and on. So many things that we can do. But most important of all is be faithful. Yes. Be available. Be teachable. Be obedient. And be humble. Yes. Amen. Yes. Because He wants to use you. Amen. What about you? Are you doing your part to be available to him? And we're going to find out. We have great examples for you for you to, to listen to. Amen. So praise God. Let me see. Before we get into the word. And believe me. We're not going to hold you long. <laughs> so be open. <laughs> Amen? Amen. Promise we won't hold you long. Amen. <laughs> I don't know if you ever said this before. But uh. Lord, who am I? What can I do? You know, if you ever use these words before, remember this. Noah was a drunk. God used him. All these Bible heroes we talk about had sin in their lives or were sinful. Yes. But God used them. 
Amen. Abraham was too old. Isaac was a daydreamer. He was an airhead. <laughs> Jacob was a liar. Leah was ugly. All right now. Hey, you include me. <laughs> I'm ready. Lord, use me. Here I am. <laughs> Moses was stuttering problems. Gideon was afraid. Well, I'm only going to read a few of these for you. But we have a whole list of things. Yes. I don't know what your excuse is, but it's time you stop using that excuse. Jesus could have made an excuse and say, I don't want to go to earth. Right. I want to stay in heaven uh -huh. and just <laughs> kick back. Right. But he sacrificed. God sacrificed his only son and he came. Amen. And fulfilled what God called him to do. Jonah ran from God. A lot of us are doing that right now. We're running from him. He's told us to be available, but we're not making ourselves available. You know how many people, the man of God, the woman of God, have told you, you know, I see a, a, a calling in your life. You know, you've been called of God. You've been called to do whatever, you know, and we're still running from it. No, that's not me, because you don't see yourself the way he sees you. He sees into your spirit, and you know what he put in you. Amen. Uh -huh. Job was bankrupt. Peter denied Christ three times. And Jesus still used it mildly. Yes. You know, he could have said, you know, hey, you gave up on me, so I'm not going to use you anymore. Praise God. Praise God. Hey, praise yeah, God. God. Amen. Zacchaeus was too small. So, well, you know, what your size has to do? Nothing with it. Amen. It's, it's the size of your heart. Are you open? Are you available for him? Amen. Just just a few. And uh, God used a donkey. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> <laughs> a jackass. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. hey, he can use me. <laughs> he can use you. Amen. And, and most important, listen to this. He used uh, Lazarus and he was dead. Yeah. He made sure he was dead. He took his time in coming yeah, yeah. to make sure he stunk. But <laughs> Jesus called him out of the grave. Oh, Jesus yeah. called him from the dead yes. and came out. Yes. And she used him. So, be available. Amen. You be available, and he's not going to force himself on you. Just remember one day you have to stand before him and answer to him and say, why didn't, why didn't you make yourself available to be used of me? What are you going to say? Well, uh, the people that you gave, uh, who, you know, you can blame anybody else, but they're not going to be with you. Amen. So let's get into it. It's about the ministry of availability. It's a fancy word. Yes. Be available for God. Amen. Be available for God. So praise God. Here we go. God has a ministry for his for all of his children. Not just the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the pastor, and the teacher. We call the fivefold ministry. Uh -huh. He is a pastor. It, it, it's up to the pastor or or the apostle or the prophet or the evangelist or the teacher. No, it's up to every one of us. Yes. And we're going to find out. We have scripture in a few minutes. We're going to find out about uh, 2 Corinthians uh -huh. five seventeen says he's given us a ministry of reconciliation, bringing souls into the kingdom of God. And every one of us has a part to do because we are part of the body of Christ. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Open your Bibles to Ephesians 4, 11 through 15. And I'm going to read it to you because I've got it from a different translation. I'm going to read it from the New Living Translation, but Ephesians chapter 4, verses 11 through 15. And I'm going to read it. You can uh, follow along, but I'm going to read it from this translation. And now these are the gifts Christ gave to the church. Uh -huh. Who gave the gifts? Christ. Christ. Jesus gave these gifts to the church. And what are those gifts? Maybe you've never heard this before, but it was he that gave these gifts to the church. The apostle the prophet, the evangelist, the pastor, pastors, and the teachers. Mm -hmm. Christ gave those gifts to the church. Yes, so praise God, amen. And 12 says, their responsibility is to equip God's people to do his work and build up the church, the body of Christ. Uh -huh. 13, this will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge of God's son that we will be mature in the Lord. Measuring up to full to, to, to the full and complete standard of Christ. Yes. Amen. So it's up to us. 
Yes. To come ready to receive what God has Amen. for us, you know. It's not just uh, who, whoever is behind the pulpit, a man, a woman, a child. It doesn't matter. You be, you come prepared to receive what God has to speak through them. Yes. This is a gift God has given you. Amen. The pastor, the speaker, whatever speaker it is, pray for them. And you'll be available to receive what God has for you. Amen. Then we will no longer be immature like children. We won't be tossed and blown about right. by every wind of new teachings. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Amen. That's we will it. not be influenced when That's people it. try to trick us That's with it. lies so clever they sound like the truth. Uh -huh. You know, when you know what the Word of God says, whoever comes and says, hey, we got new things, you know, hey, why don't you come visit our meeting? Why don't you come visit our church? We got new things. <laughs> There's no new thing. Yes. Everything is the new gospel, the, 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 the word of God. Amen. Word That's God. the truth. Yes. It's going to set you free the from all these lies. Mm -hmm. But if you don't know, you're just going to be tossed to and fro. You know? And you, you need to stop that. And this is telling us mm -hmm. how we can stop it. Yeah. Amen. And verse 15 it says, Instead, we will speak the truth in love, growing in every way more and more like Christ, who is the head of the body. Yes. The church. Yes. He is the head of the, of the church. Amen. And we're his body. Yes. So we need to make ourselves available for him to use us. Amen. Amen. We need to be available for him to use us. And he wants to use you. Remember, uh, the Bible talks about one head, one body, and that's us. Mm -hmm. But this body, this physical body, we, we need to work together in unity. Yes. Amen. And every part makes itself available to be used. Yes. Amen. Amen. Every part makes itself available to be used. Mm -hmm. Not wanting to do their own thing, yeah. but doing what God has commanded and yeah. ordered this body to do. Yeah. Yeah. And it's all going to work in unity yeah. by being available and Amen. going with what God has commanded to do. But every Christian has a ministry or a calling. Every one of you. We all have a part, big or small. Right, amen. Mm -hmm. We have a part. What you need to do is, well, let's go to Colossians, one of my favorite scriptures, Colossians uh, chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3, and we use the Word of God, so we're excited and we're teaching from the Word of God, amen. Colossians chapter 3, verses 23 through 25. Are you there? Yes. Let me read it to you from the new translation here. It says, working diligently, verse 23, working diligently, whatever you do, as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. You know, when you try to do for people, you think about if they've done something to you. Mm. And you're not going to try to do it right for them because mm. you have a problem. All right. <laughs> but I want to do this. And I want to do this job as if yeah. I'm doing it under Him. Yes. And when I do it under Him, I want to do my best. Amen. Because I'm expecting Him to show. If yes. I come to clean this church, I'm going to clean it because I'm expecting Him to be here. Amen. Amen. Wherever I work, I'm cleaning and I'm doing and I'm being faithful, being available, being obedient, yes. and being humble. Amen. Because I'm expecting him to show. How is he going to show? He's going to show himself through you. Yes. So you have to be careful. Watch your words. Watch your actions. Because you're the closest thing to a Bible or the Christ some people will ever see. Right. Come on now. Amen. <laughs> when they see Christ in you, mm -hmm. they'll say, man, how come you never said? How come you never do this how come you never say that how come you never go here how come you never go there mm. because Christ is in my life he's my Lord and Savior and I make myself available to the use of him Amen. to say man what I want what you've got well good then you lead them to Christ yes amen change a new life <laughs> a new life uh -huh. what do we leave off <laughs> rather than <clears throat> the Lord will give you an inheritance as your reward and that the master you are serving is Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. The, the King James says, 
And whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not unto men. Right. Knowing that the Lord ye serve, ye, excuse me, knowing that the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance. Yeah. Ye serve the Lord Christ. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ye serve the Lord Christ. So that's who you're serving. Mm -hmm. So you know, you do sloppy work. Yeah. People see. Yeah. And you know, <laughs> I don't want to be like that. Amen. Amen. I don't want to do that. And that's not what I'm getting paid for. That's it. Amen. That's not what I'm getting paid for. Amen. When you do the right, he's going to reward you. Yes. He's going to promote you. He's going to bless you. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you know what he's going to do? He uses people. Yeah. And people say, you know, hey, you charge so much, but you know what? I'm going to reward you with extra uh -huh. because of the work you did. Amen. Yes. I'm impressed with the work you did. Well, Lord, praise God, you know, he's going to bless you. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> verse yeah. 24, uh, verse 25. But he, he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he has done. And there is no respect to the persons. Yeah. That's right. The, uh, the uh, New Living Translation says, but if you do what is wrong, you will be paid back for the wrong yeah. you have done. God has no favorites. That's it. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, man, this is this is good. Yes, it is. We got to get our spirits right. We got to get our minds right in who we serve. Amen. As long as you know that you're serving Him, and you can't hide from Him because He sees you, no matter where you are. <laughs> Amen. All right. So, here's another ministry we're going to be talking about before we get deep into what we're supposed to be doing. Let's go to Saint Corinthians. Um, verse uh, chapter 5 St. Corinthians is right after 1 uh, uh, first, first Corinthians, first Corinthians. Right. hey you guys are smart uh, uh, thank <laughs> you <laughs> yes 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 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verses start at verse 17 yep. are you there yep. yes okay here we go You follow along, I'm going to read it to you from the New King, New King James. Therefore, if any one is in Christ, he is what? New a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Now all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ who has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Yes. If you read the word, mm -hmm. and if you're reading the word, you'll find out he has given you a ministry yes. of reconciliation. Yes. Amen. So don't ever say, he never talks to me. Mm -hmm. He never uh, wants me to do anything. Well, you need to make yourself available to read the word yes. of God. <laughs> yes. And find out what he's asked you to do. Yes, that's right. And if you don't know, then ask him, what is it you want me to do? Or here am I, Lord, use me. When you make yourself available, he's going to use you. Amen. <laughs> and this is a great message. And we're, we're going to take our time mm -hmm. and make sure we grasp this. Amen. Because he wants you to be available. Yes. <laughs> Even in these last days. You yes. know, how many more days the Lord tarries to come back. Mm -hmm. He wants you to be available. Yes, he does. Amen. He wants you to be available. Uh, he's given us a ministry of, of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. Amen. All things are of Christ and has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ and given us the ministry of reconciliation. 19. That is that God was in Christ uh -huh. reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses on them and has committed us uh, to the word of reconciliation has committed com committed us to the word of yes. re uh, reconciliation yes. now then we are ambassadors of Christ yes. as through God we're pleading through us we implore you on Christ's behalf be reconciled to God for he has made him who knew no sin to be sin for us yes. that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Amen. so the old is out the yes. new is in. You're yes. a new creature in Christ. New creature. Amen. Yeah. You're a new person in Christ. And guess what? When you're a new person in Christ, you making yourself available for God to use you. Amen. Amen. Forget about the the past. That's what the Bible tells us. 
Forget about the past. The, 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 the enemy wants to come to steal, kill, and destroy yes. and keep you in the past yeah. and keep reminding you of your past yeah. and you'll, for you to never get up and do something for God. Mm -hmm. yes, but amen. when you confess Him as your Lord and Savior, He's given us a ministry of reconciliation. Yes. He's, yes. He, he's called us to be His ambassadors, yes. His mouthpiece on earth. Yes. How is the Word of God going to get out? Through us. Yes. <laughs> amen. And we need to get the Word in us so we yes. can speak it out. That's right. That's how the lost, mm -hmm. that's how we bring the good news to the lost world. Mm -hmm. Amen. We need to speak it out. Yes. So, and don't say, I can't do. The Bible says you can do all things yes. through Christ who yes. strengthens yes. you. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. So, we're all called to lead others to Christ. Uh -huh. We're all links to the chain. Not working. <laughs> we're all links to a chain. You've seen a chain, and there's a lot of links to it. Every one of those links is us. Mm -hmm. You've seen a puzzle. <laughs> Every piece of that puzzle completes a beautiful picture. Amen. That's us. We're a beautiful body of Christ. Amen. But you're that piece of that puzzle that makes that puzzle complete. And we're to complete one another and not compete. You know, ever from the beginning, Lucifer wanted to be, compete with God yes. and be better than God. God kicked him out, <laughs> you know, and there's been competition going on and on and on all through the Bible. But we're not, it's not about competition, it's about completion. And we're to complete one another. We're that link to connect each other to the body of Christ, to God. Amen. Yes. And you're a precious link to this chain. Right. Big or small, whatever you're calling right. or whatever you're to do, still, you're a link to the chain. Amen. Amen. You're a piece of God's puzzle. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Come on now. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yes, sir. <clears throat> yes, sir. For some, it could be soul winning. Uh -huh. Some excel in soul winning. You know, yes. Billy Graham just leave thousands thousands to to the lord amen yes some to invite <laughs> have you ever invited somebody to church yeah have you ever invited somebody to accept christ yes. amen 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 lord was just ringing your bell yeah <laughs> ringing your phone yeah. <laughs> and said they're ready to come to me yes. all you have to do is invite them yes. have you ever invited jesus in your heart mm -hmm. huh? have you ever invited jesus to come into your life Yes. You are, you, every one of us can say that. Man, we get full of stuff and we just, my mouth gets all kind of loose <laughs> and say all kind of things. Mm. Oh, I, could, I can't talk. That's what mm. Moses trying to use on God. Say, <laughs> I stutter. I don't speak well. Uh, yeah. well. God will take whatever you give him yes. and he'll use it. Give yourself to him. Make yourself yes. available and he'll use you. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> some to bring somebody. Say, well, you stop, you, you see somebody walking, say, well, where are you going? Your neighbor or somebody say, you guys going to church today? No, he said, I don't have no ride. Well, come on. Right. You have a ride. Let's go. Yeah. I've got a place where yeah. they teach the word of God. You know? Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> some to share your personal testimony. All of us have a great testimony. Yes. The Bible says that overcame by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood yes. of the Lamb, and the word of the testimony. Yes. We went through all kinds of troubles, all yes. kinds of things, but God saw us through. And at the end, we came to Christ. So guess what? He's going to use your personal testimony to lead somebody to Christ. But you can't hold it in. He's telling you to share your testimony with this person. And all you're doing is, you know, holding your, your tongue back. Open it up and share your testimony if he's telling you to do so. <clears throat> some to be teachers, some in prayers. Yeah. Others serve in this. And we, we haven't talked about this in a long time. But there's a ministry called Helps in the church. Yeah. Helps is having everyone, every loving person serving. Yeah. You know, Helps is in the church. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
Some are, are ushers, some are greeters, some are praise and worship, uh, some are singers, some musicians, some are parking attendants, some are in the nursery, some in children's church, some in v VBS, Vacation Bible School. We haven't had any of those in a while because of coronavirus, <laughs> COVID-19. <laughs> Helps in the church, of course, depends on the size of the church. The bigger the church, the more ministries in there. Yes. Right. But the bigger the helps is. But there's a place for every one of us yes. to come in and be faithful and available for God to use us. Yes. To be faithful and available for the pastor's use. Pastor, what do you need help? Everywhere God sent me, I we come and meet the pastors. How can we help you? How can we be available to for you to use? I always need workers in uh, the, the children's church. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? We always found ourselves in the children's church because nobody wants to go there. But you know what? Mm -hmm. Have your attitude right and serve what God wants you. We led lots of children to Christ. Mm -hmm. And the children mm -hmm. go home and lead parents to Christ. Yes, they do. Yes. Amen. Yes. God will use them. Yeah. You got to remember that. God will use everything that you make available to Him. Amen. So this morning, we're going to be talking about the ministry of availability. Whatever ministry or whatever calling God has given us, you and He has, quit lying. You know, God never talks to me. Well, you know what you need to do is you need to grab your Bible, if you have one, and dust it off, dust it off, yeah. and open it, and He's going to talk to you. Amen. He's going to talk to you. He want, he's he's wanting to, been wanting to talk to you. Uh -huh. Amen. And he's going to talk to you and, and, and tell you what, what he wants, what he needs. He's called you. You need to be available to do it. Yes. Lord, here I am. Use me. Yes. Amen. Jesus was available. Are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Our slides are working. <laughs> Praise God. I know I have some great slides for you. <laughs> Jesus was available, but are you available? Yes, yes. He's our greatest example. Yes. Amen. And he went through some. Nobody has gone through the hardest things like he went through. Mm -hmm. So whatever you've gone through is nothing compared to what he went through. Mm -hmm. Amen. So quit quit using that. Keep going, Carmen. Mm -hmm. If if you're able to, the Bible makes it clear that God is always available to anyone. Who what? Seeks him. Seeks him. Yeah. Are you seeking him? Mm. Amen. You need to seek him. And yeah. um, <laughs> I know you hear this all the time, but uh, it's it's really not <clears throat> correct. But we always say, people always say, "I found Jesus." <laughs> 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 well, he was never lost. Hey, Amen. <laughs> we were lost. <laughs> yeah. He found us. So wherever you happen to be at or or into, <laughs> you need to come back to Christ. And you need to receive him. Amen. Now is the, now is the time. Keep going. <clears throat> God does not ask about our abilities and our inabilities. He wants to know about our availability. Are you available? And he's not going to push it on you. No. Amen. If you don't want to do it, you ain't going to do it for nobody. I ain't going to do it for nobody. Even God. Oh, no, that's different. No, you ain't going to do it for nobody, period. But God is wanting to use you. And he said, well, I don't think that's the right thing. That's not of God. <laughs> because it's too small. It's not important enough. For him, it's important. Yeah. But you don't see it that way. He sees it important enough for to want to use you. He's looking for available people says god looks all over the world to see who he could find yeah he found one yes he did yeah. amen was it is that one going to be you mm. amen <laughs> praise god <clears throat> before god will use anybody they have to be available to be used of him yeah. remember he's not going to force his way nobody was uh, consistent and mightily used of God in the Bible unless they first willing to be made available. Yes. He's going to use you. Big or small. 
here right. am I Lord send me and we're going to get into some examples here keep going Carl. God does not call those who are equipped he equips those that he calls yes uh, I don't have I'm not able I'm not I'm not I'm not we have all kinds of excuses oh, well nice. our abilities what's your ability he said uh -huh. those he don't call those he, the, uh, who are equipped uh -huh. he equips those who call mm -hmm. but you got to do is you got to take steps of faith mm -hmm. and you got to step out of your boat that's right <laughs> amen and, 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 and step out and say Lord you're my Lord and say I'm making myself available yes and guess what <laughs> your life is is going to be different it's going to change yeah. Amen. It's going to change. Yes. In 1 Samuel 3 and 4, the Lord called Samuel and he answered. Yes. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> the Lord called Samuel and he answered, Here am I. Yes. Amen. Samuel was mightily used of God. Why? Yeah. Because he made himself available. Yeah, he says, Here am I, Lord. What about mm -hmm. you? Listen to this. Mary was the mother of Jesus. And there must have been thousands of virgins in Galilee, oh, perhaps hundreds in, in Nazareth. But Mary was the one who went down right. in history. Why? Right. Notice this. Mary said when the angel told her uh -huh. of her chosen ministry. Uh -huh. In Luke 138. And Mary says, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord be unto me according to to thy word. Mm -hmm. In other words, she is saying, I'm available. Yes. Amen. You see, think about what people are going to say, <laughs> what's going to happen. Mm. We're talking about a virgin. He says, yes. but she says, uh, handmaiden of the Lord says, be it unto me according to thy word. And listen to this. She made herself available after this, the Bible says, and the angel departed from her. Yeah, yeah. He was pleased. He found somebody. Uh -huh. Has God found you? Uh -huh. Are you available? Amen. Uh -huh. <laughs> Quit having God pass you by. Yes, <laughs> amen. It's time for you to say, Lord, I'm available. Yes. You don't have Lord. to bypass me no more. You don't have to go find somebody else. Uh -huh. Well, God's looking for people. Well, uh -huh. here am I, Lord. Use me. That's what it says. Uh, and Samuel says, Samuel was mightily mm -hmm. used of God. Yes, Why? Because he made himself available. You're going to hear this a lot. Mm -hmm. So some of you that have been sandbagging, some of you have been holding back. <laughs> it's time for you to make yeah. be available. Amen. All right. <laughs> That's so true. Notice that Mary, angel told her of her chosen ministry. Mm -hmm. To be the mother mm -hmm. of baby Jesus. Yes. Amen. Ooh, come on now. <laughs> Jesus walked perfectly in the will of God. Why? Because he made himself available. Yes. You know, while they're still in heaven, uh -huh. the father calls the son. He calls Jesus. I need yes. to talk with you. You know, I want my people back. Mm -hmm. Remember the end Lucifer, he, enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He said, I want my people back. Yes. But in order to get them back, I'm going to have to sacrifice you. Mm. Jesus could have said no. But he made himself available. Yes. I say, okay, Come Father. On. Let your will be done. Yes. yes. Amen. And he came through the Virgin Mary. Mm -hmm. And he was born into this world. Mm -hmm. But he made himself available. Remember, he's, he's, he's our biggest uh, example. Yes. He made himself available. And the Bible says in Matthew, some of the Gospels, it says that Jesus came to serve, not to be served. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. Praise Lord. God. So Jesus met with, uh, why? Because Jesus was available. As the Son of God, he wanted only to do the will of God. Yes. His first recorded words uh, showed his availability. Yeah. In Luke uh, 2, 49. You can you can mark these down. I already got them mark, uh, wrote down. Luke two forty nine says, "Know ye not that I must be about my Father's business?" Yes, yes. He's telling the disciples, "Don't you know I'm supposed to be about my Father's business?" Uh -huh. 
What is he doing? He's telling them, mm -hmm. I'm available for my father mm -hmm. to use me. Yes. Amen. We need to be available for God to use us. Yes. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Dis disciples, they were mightily used. Why? Because they were available. Mm -hmm. They make themselves available. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Um, in Matthew, let's go to Matthew 4. Uh, 18 through 22. Book of Matthew, chapter 4, and verse 22. Remember, we're not holding you long. <laughs> yeah. And we got a whole lot more to go. So, And we want to make sure that you get this so that you could be available. Yes. God's yes. talking to you. <laughs> Amen. You're watching, you're listening. He's talking to you. Yes. Be available. He yes. wants to use you to reach the lost world. Amen. Amen. And you have a big part to play. Amen. Uh, Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 through 22. <clears throat> Jesus calls four disciples. <laughs> and Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, yeah. for they were fishers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. Uh -huh. And going on, then thence he saw other two brethren, James, the son of Zebedee, and uh, John, his brother, in a ship with Zebedee's, their father, uh, mending their nets. And he called them. And verse 22 says, Huh. And they, he called them. He says they immediately left the ship and the father, and followed him. Yeah. So see, this is how he called them, and they followed him. He's yeah. called you. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of invitation you want. <laughs> it may not have a parade for you, <laughs> but he's called you. Amen. And they followed him. And the verse twenty-two says they were mightily used because they made themselves available. Yes. They walked away. They could have said, they had a choice. Yeah. Say, hey, we're going about our business. Mm -hmm. This is our business. Mm -hmm. But they stepped away from that mm -hmm. and they followed him. Praise God. Paul, when, when God called him, he was the worst sinner around killing and putting oh. uh, Christians into prison. Yeah. He was the worst of the worst. <laughs> So, you're not the worst. The Bible says he was the worst. <laughs> mm. And he was going around killing Christians. When he told the man of God to go and lay hands on him, you know, and knock, them off, knock uh, Saul <laughs> off his horse. And he had him laid up. <laughs> and told the man of God, he says, go lay hands on him for uh -huh. those scales to come off. Uh -huh. He said, uh-uh. <laughs> that was his ministry. Go lay hands on him. He chose a man. He chose a person. He's choosing you. What he's told you to do. Well, that's not a big thing. You know, hey, you want me to go lay hands on a killer? I don't want to be, I don't want to die. He says, go lay hands on him that his skill can come off, you know, for him yes. to see who I've called him to be. Amen. Yes. And says, okay. He says, I'm available. I'll go. And he went and he prayed for him. And the skills came off. Yes, he did. Uh, he was a new Christian, new creature in Christ. Amen. Uh, he changed his name to Paul. <laughs> he, he used Paul mightily. He wrote two thirds of the New Testament. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, Amen. So, who are we to say no? <laughs> <laughs> he says, put in the prison as many prisoners as he could get his hands on. No. A blasphemer. How could God use him so mightily? Mm. Listen to what he said after the confrontation with Christ. Yeah. Acts 9 and 6 says, you can go to Acts 9 and 6. I, I have all these uh, scriptures wrote down already. But Acts 9 and 6 says what? Uh -huh. well, book of Acts chapter 9 verse 6 says, And he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what will thou have to do with uh, me to do? And the Lord says unto him, Arise and go into the city, and ye shall, uh, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
What was he saying? What would you have me to do? Yeah. He was making himself available. Yes, he was. And God used him mightily. Yes. Amen. <laughs> he had a choice. God chose him. Yes. Amen. A killer. <laughs> Put Christians in prison. <laughs> Praise God. Mm -hmm. And trembling and starting and said, Lord, what will thou have me to do? Yeah. He made himself available to Jesus. Mm -hmm. But you <laughs> may say, uh, no, Samuel married Jesus, uh, disciples, and Paul. That's okay. But just me? What about me? <laughs> God can't use me. I'm a nobody. Right. I'm nobody. The world has told you wrong. Yes. Because the world has told you and people have told you you're no good. Mm. You're nothing. You're not well liked. You're not educated. And you have nothing to give. Mm. That's what the world says. You're not qualified. Mm. You're no good. But that's not what the Word of God says about that's you. That's right. He says... He equips those he calls. Yes. And he's equipped you. He's anointed you. And yes. he's gifted you. And he's yes. put all the right things for you to fulfill whatever yes. God has you to do. So it's time for you to stop running. <laughs> it's time for you to come back to God. Amen. And says, Lord, here I am. I'm available. Mm -hmm. First thing you got to do is just repent. Yes. Confess. I've done you wrong. Thank you, Lord. Get right with him. Yes. Amen. And it's time to pick up where you left off and, 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 and head, head his way and do what he's called you to do. Just Amen. like Jesus, <coughs> listen to this. <laughs> this is not in my notes, but Jesus used David. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know, David, he, was, he, he just went to bring lunch to his brothers. Yeah. And, and, and the Israeli army is fighting the Philistine army. And they've got their giant. And he's saying all kind of bad things about him, you know. And, and they're all afraid. David shows up. And guess what? The giant said some things that really riled him up. He said, wait a minute. You're talking about my God. Amen. Right. You ain't going to do that. And uh, what's wrong with y'all? <laughs> Why is nobody fighting this giant? That, that's just me. <laughs> and he told the king, say, I'll go fight him. So guess what the king tries to do? He tries to put armor on him. And part of that armor is as a sword. But you know, he's not equipped for that. Yeah. So just be who God called you to be. That's it. And God equipped me. He's a little shepherd boy. Mm -hmm. And so he's got his slingshot. He says, yes. I'll use what God yeah. has given me. Yes. And he took yeah. his slingshot and he went and enslaved the mm -hmm. big giant. So, <laughs> what kind of big problems do you have? What kind of big problems are you facing? Make yourself available to God Amen. and those giants are coming down. Amen. Amen. Praise, Praise God. God. Those giants are coming down. Yes, Keep are. going, Carmen. Have a few more to show. Here we go. If you don't know what to say, say this. Yes. <laughs> Lord, I'm available to you. Uh -huh. Amen. You don't know what else to say. Lord, I'm available to you. Uh -huh. Amen. Keep going. Here we go. This is a little David. It says, be yourself. No matter what other people think, uh -huh. God made you the way you are for a reason. Yes. Besides, an original is always worth more yes. than a copy. Amen. I added these new things on the bottom here. I just put on there, it says, be an original, be yourself, and be available. Yes. And that's what David did. He made himself available. You know, that little shepherd boy, <laughs> when the prophet came <laughs> to select the next king of Israel, Jesse, he said, go to the house of Jesse. He went to Jesse's house. Man, he got a whole bunch of boys. Huh. And all seven boys went through there and says, nope, 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 nope. None of them. Mm. When the next king of Israel. He says, do you have another son? Mm. He says, yeah, I've got another son. That's eight. <laughs> See, I've got another son, but he's just a little shepherd boy. 
He's out watch, uh, taking care of the sheep. He said, well, bring him. I'm speaking to somebody. Yeah. You're just a little nobody. Oh. You're no good. You're not available. But he said, go get him. Mm. And he goes to get the little nobody, no good, uh, little <laughs> shepherd boy. He, that's, that's Jesse the father saying, oh. oh, yeah, but he's only a little uh, shepherd boy. Mm. See, he passed all his little uh, good looking, uh, uh, strong uh, sons in front of the uh, prophet. And uh, he says, no, 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 no. See, the world tries to make you a certain way mm -hmm. and try to fit you a certain way. And the prophet said, no, nope. God's told the prophet, no, 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 no. So go get your little shepherd boy. He comes and he passes by. He says, that's the next king of Israel. Right. Great God. You're watching and you're listening. And God is talking to you. But right? yeah. He's using me to speak to you. Yes. But whoever you are, it's time for you to be available yeah. to God. Thank God you. has called you. And He didn't make a mistake. We right. make a mistake right. of disqualifying ourselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's time we step up to what He's called us yes. to be. Yes. Amen. So it's time for you to step up. Amen. Amen. So you know who you are. And it's time to quit living that way. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> It's time to come to him and be available for him Amen. to be used. Amen. <laughs> Woo! Where'd I leave off? Oh. <laughs> Just like Jesus chose the little boy to feed the five thousands. Yeah. Why the boy? What the boy have? Well, he had five biscuits and two sardines. <laughs> five loaves of bread and two two fish. <laughs> that wasn't much. But what did he do? He made himself available mm -hmm. for Jesus to use. Jesus took what he had, multiplied, and used it. And there were 12 baskets full. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yep. He used a little boy. You think uh, You think his mom packed a lunch for him to go feed 5,000 people? No. <laughs> he packed a little lunch for him right. to go feed for him to eat. Yes. But the little boy made himself available. He was a little boy. You're a grown person. Yeah. It's time for you to let God use you. Yes. He put you here to be used. Yes. He didn't put you here to be lazy. No. It's uh -huh. time we get off our lazy, yeah. como se llama, you know, and and, 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 and do for God. Yes. And be available for Him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know, a coach coaches a team. And that team has to be there for Him. Uh -huh. You know. How would you like the coach calling on you to come? It's time for you to go and and, and, and do something. And uh, you say, no. Coach is calling you, and you're not responding. Mm -hmm. You're not being available for him to use you. Mm -hmm. Well, Coach Jesus is calling you. Yes. It's time for you to get off the bench, and it's time for you to go in this game of life. That's it. Amen. Because you got great gifts that he has given you. Yes. And you need to go out there and be used of God. Amen. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know. Bless me. I don't know about you. Keep going, Kirby. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's my chain. <laughs> you see those links? Yes. There's a circle. Yes. Be unbroken. Unbroken. <laughs> all those links hooked us as a body of Christ. We're all linked together. Yes. We're not to compete. We're to complete. Yes. We you know these yeah. these these uh, chain links. They hook each other. And they complete the circle. And that's what we do in the body of Christ. Yeah. Amen. We're linked yeah. together. Amen. And work in unity. Not in competition, but that's in right. completion. Exactly. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And you know when, well, I'm not going to, I'll bring it up next week. We'll just continue this. Amen. But, uh, Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We'll just go from there. So, I'll just stop right there. Oh, good, good. one more. I know this one right here. <laughs> That's you. You're holding your chain, your links, to, your link together. Amen. Yes. You hold your end. You hold your part. How? Amen. By being available. Yes. I'm being available for God to use me. Amen. Big or small, it don't matter. Thank as you. long as He's pleased, I'm pleased. Amen. Yes. I'm not in the pleasing people. I'm in the pleasing God. 
and you're going to please him when you make yourself available. Mm -hmm. Amen. Correct. So praise God. We'll close with that. Thank you, Father, for this precious message that you've given me. Yes. And I've delivered it, and we're going to continue it. But uh, some of you watching, some of you listening, you've been running from God. How you 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 know when you run from God, mm -hmm. you're not available. Right. <laughs> so it's time you, you stop running. Uh huh. Or it's time you get up oh, and say, yes. "Here am I, Lord." Use me. Use me. Amen. Yeah. So if you're in sin, all you have to do is just repent. Mm. Lord, I've sinned against you. I confess my sin. Mm. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. And let him be Lord of your life. And let him come and use you. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Amen. If you're hurting, he's also given us uh, healing. Yes. Mm -hmm. By Jesus Christ, you're healed. Yeah. So whatever your body's telling you, don't receive it because your body is a temple of the Holy yeah. Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Amen. And just speak what the Word of God says. By Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Mm -hmm. So sickness, spirit of infirmity, you have no right, no right. in this body. Yes. I command you to go now in Jesus' name. And body, receive your healing and function normal in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. So that's you. Receive it. Amen. Amen. And uh, also, it's time for you to to give. If you're giving, if you're watching, you're listening, it's time for you to give your tithes and offerings. So you can go to the donate button and hit that button. Go to NBCBigBen.com. And if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Amen. And we just wanted to say, God loves you. Amen. Amen. God loves you. God wants to use you. So make yourself available. Amen. Amen. Praise God.